ascaris lumbricoides okay ascaris lumbricoides it is an intestinal earthworm also commonly called as the round worm because of its appearance first the morphology of ascaris lumbricoides it is whitish in color cylindrical shape with a sharp end and its body cavity is filled with a fluid which is called as ascaron ascaris so in that body fluid the intestinal and genital organs float this is the morphology of round worm which is ascaris lumbricoides and this is a female worm and this is the male round worm the female is longer than male is 20 to 35 cm whereas the male is 15 to 31 cm in size the difference between male and female is that the posterior end of the female worm is straight whereas the posterior end of the male worm is curved this is the posterior end which is curved in male worm next the eggs Ascaris lumbricoides lays two types of eggs unfertilized egg and the fertilized egg the unfertilized egg has an irregular outer membrane and a smooth inner membrane and it has an atrophied embryo that is why this is unfertilized egg next is the fertilized egg which consists of an inner membrane outer membrane and an albuminous coat surrounding the outer membrane and it has an embryo in the middle which has semi lunar chitin sheath on its two poles so sometimes what happens is the fertilized egg loses its albuminous coat such eggs are called as decorticated eggs this is a representation of the decorticated egg there is an outer membrane inner membrane embryo with chitin sheath but only the albuminous coat is lacking there is no albuminous coat surrounding the outer membrane this is a bile stained image showing the eggs of ascaris lumbricoides this is the unfertilized egg and this is the decorticated egg and fertilized egg containing an atrophied embryo next this is the image of the fertilized egg which is bile stained next the larva there are four stages of larva l1 to l4 then the life cycle host It involves only one host that is man infective stage is the embryonated egg which contains l2 larva within it so the infective stage is egg containing l2 larva and the mode of transmission is fecal oral route there are three phases migrating phase intestinal phase and environmental phase in the life cycle in the migrating phase the l2 from the egg is released in the duodenum where it matures into l3 and the l3 penetrates into the venous blood into the right heart and from the right heart into the lung from the lung into the small intestine this is the migrating phase next is the intestinal phase where the l3 gets converted to l4 and it sexually matures becomes the adult and then lays eggs next is the environmental phase the egg containing the larva becomes l2 and it further matures into l3 this is the migrating phase intestinal phase and the environmental phase and this is the life cycle of ascaris lumbricoides here is the migratory phase in man intestinal phase in man and the environmental phase 
the fertilized corticated egg unfertilized egg and the decorticated first fertilized egg next is the pathogenesis and clinical features first due to the migrating larva it causes pulmonary symptoms and eosinophilic pneumonia called as low flush syndrome next is due to the adult worm most of the patients remain asymptomatic some present with malnutrition and growth retardation or they can be intestinal complication like small bowel obstruction or extra intestinal complications like when they occlude biliary tree it causes biliary colic cholecystitis and pancreatitis they can cause respiratory obstruction or even block the eustachian tube next is the lab diagnosis which includes stool examination the stool is examined for egg and the egg can either be fertilized egg or unfertilized egg next is the examination for adult worm the adult worm can be visualized in x-ray the x-ray shows trolley car lines this is an x-ray finding usg and barium meal of gat can also reveal the adult worm next is the serology serology is by antibody detection using elisa immunofluorescence and immunohemagglutination test then the other findings include eosinophilia charcot laden crystals in the sputum lastly the treatment treatment of roundworm infection antiparasitic drugs and symptomatic treatment the antiparasitic drugs given are albendazole mebendazole in case of pregnant women pyrantel pamoate is preferred next symptomatic treatment for intestinal obstruction is nasogastric suction or surgery to remove the worm load this is a section of round worm infested intestine they form a mass and obstruct the intestine this is all about the round worm ascaris lumbricoides Thank you.